Okay, I'm going to show you how to um, fix a locked seatbelt mechanism on a Land Rover Discovery 2. Mine is a 2004, and this particular one is the passenger third row seatbelt. And this one came locked. It was locked in place. I got it uh, used, and it was sent with a jump seat kit and it would not retract. I bolted it in so that the inertia mechanism, there's an inertia mechanism in these things that if it's tilted the wrong way, it won't release. Well, I bolted it in place so it was tilted the right way, still would not unlock. Um, so I unbolted it, and what I had to do was pop this cap off, not the other side, you see there's nothing in the middle, this side. Pop this cap off, there are three spots where you have to get some tiny pliers. I use some uh, hemostats, actually, uh, medical instruments, but there's right in there something you have to squeeze and then push up, and this will pop off. I'll show you in a minute here. Okay, with this facing up, I popped off this top. You have three little pieces that you need to pinch those with some tiny needle nose pliers and pinch them and then push it through, all three. And it's tricky because as you get two out, you'll have the third one pop back in place. So you just have to pinch and push, pinch and push, keep doing it. And eventually I actually just kind of forced out the last one and used force to pull the entire thing off. Then these two pieces came tumbling out so I wasn't sure how to put them back in place. So if that happens to you, this is how you put it back in place. This red piece goes inside this white piece, and this white piece will fit directly on top of that little notch there. You'll see it. And it should actually clip almost into place, so you'll know you have it seated well. It's just, you see that, it's just fit perfectly in there. And then this red piece can only go one of two ways and seat properly. You can try it the other way, but it won't fit right, and you'll know that. And here's the other thing. You hear that? That also means it's fit right. You can hear it spinning. This, if this piece comes out, which it did on another seatbelt I had, you see that little metal piece in there? That is the inertia piece. And that needs to be put in there just right. So it needs to be upright. And so this, if you're looking at it like this, see where that white piece locks into that pin? That's gonna give you kind of a rough estimate. You see how it jiggles? This needs to be just right up and down. And so that is the layout of how that's gonna go in there if that comes out. Hope that doesn't come out, it's a pain in the butt to get right. But that needs to be just right. Second thing, take some WD-40, spray down all in here. Remember this mesh has to be fully extracted all the way out before you can put that cover on. And I just put the cover on demonstrating, but it wasn't fully out, so now I can't get it to release. So I have to pop the cover off again um, which now it's a lot easier to do. I can do it with my fingers because I've loosened up these tabs so much. I can just pop it off, but you have to p pull that all the way out before you put the cover on. Then I would recommend going ahead and bolting it in place up here um, to keep it from retracting all the way. Then bolt it down here, and then hopefully you're good to go. I'm gonna put this cover back on this is how you're going to line it up. See that bolt holder on the bottom? This is going to be vertical. This, this little tab right here, that's only on one section. And that's going to go over here. The tab, see the bolt holder here? Tab over here. Pop that into place. And that's the way it goes. One more thing to keep in mind, uh, if you get stuck still, which I have still gotten stuck at various points, remember this is going to be your frame of reference. See that bolt down there? This is going to bolt in here once the trim is in place. This bolts up here first. You first bolt that in once you've got your slack and keep this cover off. Then extend it down here, sl slide it into that mechanism, bolt that in place. I don't have it fully bolted in place yet. And then I would temporarily bolt this in place to give you a frame of reference. This needs to hang down here 
if it goes back any farther, it risks getting caught all over again and not wanting to extend. Um, so right now, you see how it's coming in and out. But this, because this is not perfectly up, because uh, I don't have it bolted in all the way, if you try and do it like I'm doing it, you'll say, oh my goodness, it's still not coming undone. Well, it's because it's not perfectly up. Also, I'm not sitting on a perfect level. I'm up on my curb. So that's gonna throw things off. Your vehicle needs to be on a flat surface, ideally, to encounter the least difficulties. Obviously, you can compensate for it. But as long as you know, it will work. Um, because I bolted this in and was like, oh no, it's still not working. But once I made sure that this was down here, I made sure this was straight because even just a little bit of wiggle here can make a big difference. Make sure this is pushed up against here um, and make sure your vehicle is on a level surface. This is going to un unravel just fine. Um, and if you get stuck at any point or it gets too far retracted, just pop this cover back off with a screwdriver. Just fit it into one of these slots, pop it off again, and you can unravel it all over again and start again. But um, it will work. Uh, both of these seat belts were completely stuck. They wouldn't come out at all when I got them in the mail. And they're both for the same part, for the same area in the Land Rover. And I thought there was no hope. Uh, and both of them work just fine. All I had to do was pop that cover off, take the pieces out, or put them back in actually because they had popped out. And uh, do this, secure this in the right order. Make sure this was unraveled all the way before putting this cap back on. And uh, everything will work fine.